Hello, this is Akshay Productions and I'm going to be showing you how to make a windy effect in GIMP 2.6. So first just make a new uh, new image, 600 by 400 pixels, and get your bucket tool and make it black so it would have it will have some effect or clarity or I don't know how to say it anyways uh, get out your text tool click here and just type in whatever you want died there so that was kinda awkward now make your text white and increase the size a little bit to I'm using sans font by the way about um I guess 35 and then just make it long so it's in one full line okay that's getting in, oh, oh my god okay so now okay there I fixed it um so it's like the box is surrounding the text now center it again with your alignment tool image so it's perfectly centered now if you want it to be and now what we need to do is go to image flatten or actually my bad go to layer and layer to image size and then it should become an image now instead of text so you can't edit it anymore so make sure you typed in the correct thing and then duplicate it four times. So one, two, three, four. Yeah. Go to the first layer. Go to filters. Distort. Wind. And you can do whatever uh, type of settings you want. But I would recommend wind instead of blast. And that's pretty much it and make this to five or four to six I um, picked five and this you can make it twenty I guess and then just click OK and you should see some sort of wind effect from the left side to the right side and then just go to this your second new layer click filters distort wind and keep everything the same except time, except this time it's right. Pick right, click OK, and you should have it like right and left. Now you shouldn't see that your text a lot, and that's okay. So go to the third layer, and this time there is no up or down in the filters. So go to layer, transform, 90 degrees, and then go to your fourth layer, layer, layer transform 90 degrees clockwise and then go keep on stay on your fourth layer and go to filters and go to wind again and then see it should be sideways so just click OK and it should have it going down and then go back to your third layer go to filters distort wind and change it to left again and click OK and now we should have a plus sign kind of and then just go back and layer transform rotate counter clockwise 90 degrees and do the same to the fourth layer and after that now you should not even see your text at all and it should be all crappy looking and that's how it's supposed to be okay so don't get worried and all that if something happens and you don't know what to do so now move your text layer well your original text layer up above all of the other ones then right click your text layer click alpha to selection and then make a new layer actually and then on and then make that new layer be below the original text and then click select grow and then make this 2 and then click OK 
and then get out your bucket tool and fill it in black. And now you should get some sort of you could see your you can see your text now. So that's what it may basically does. And go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and just keep the settings and click OK. And now if you want to preview the image, click select none and then you can see how the image is and now this is basically our full image so this is basically it. now all you have to do is well first if you go to colorize as you can see you can't colorize anything because it's all different layers and it just doesn't work so click control M and this should merge all your layers if it hasn't already currently it's not working for me so I'll just go to merge visible layers and then just click merge and then it should become the only background layer so now you can go to colors colorize and there you go you can make it whatever color you want so I'm going to make it red now the lightness if you make it really high it's going to be like really white now you can do this it also looks pretty cool with the white you know but I like it to be at least if you want it really dark it's gonna be fully black so I guess around here but if you want it like really good I guess negative thirty that should be pretty good or negative 25 okay so saturation how much color I guess is in the thing now if you want to really color I would put it to 100 and this is just basically what color it is so red and red on both sides and let's see I'm gonna make it yeah here let's just make it orange just yellow okay and just click OK and there you go there's your wind effect uh, wind effects yeah so thanks for watching comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you later